ANC singai save food. Nala o mazo manga ne ngelu pam sawe na kumri pitanyon butu zenga pam bili uzo sa tresa amanja ingo ingo.
Kulu Ruti Sibela Namtanje Bong Baba was a Kaya Um Numza Nukamet, Honorable Kamet. We want to say thank you very much. E Patega Hela Bong Futi Naguma Comrades Akonala as King at Pile Bilom Tingwa Namtan. I want to say this is the PTM eighteen. Crusade. Why do we call it a crusade? A crusade is a vigorous lobby for social, political, and religious reform or change. Funa uguti si tinge uguto ezenzega ngayo lago lenzanga noyibo live in line with the, what the people want. Sifuna uguti sikulume ngempilo jenga lo uguse sifala sifanyilu sibaye sikulumile obabu mandela samuwe la inyanga go ka okas inyanga ya makosikari Hivyo nje siti watinja mafazi, watinja mapubeti. Wena uzofiwa. Sikulume ngomasi siti. The reason why we go back to the past is to draw inspiration and encouragement to face the future with courage and determination. We want to explore in details the character of the two leaders because character is the moral force of leadership. It is midnight, comrades. 
in the political order. It is midnight in the economic order. It is midnight in the religious order. Basically, what that says is that we have lost the moral compass that should assist us to steer the ship of changing the lives of the people for the better going forward. And we want to draw inspiration, courage, strength, by going back, seeking to understand how Masisulu and Mandela would deal with the challenges facing our organization, facing the country, facing the entire world. We strongly believe that will inspire South Africans of the role they can play in changing their conditions and their way of life. We also want to celebrate what we have achieved so far on the road to true freedom and the fulfillment of human rights. Comrades, I must indicate without fear and contradictions that we have just been delivered from Egypt. You must understand that deliverance is when you leave Egypt and enter the wilderness. The wilderness is an area of testing and we are on the road to the promised land. And freedom will only come when we remove Egypt from our thinking, from our minds. We want to indicate that despite being delivered in 1994, when we first had our democratic elections under the stewardship of Comrade Nelson Mandela, we have not yet reached Canaan. We are not yet free. As a result, I want to say to you this afternoon that freedom will only come when Egypt comes or is removed out of our minds. Why do I bring this aspect? I want to emphasize that even during this current epoch, we are still faced with serious challenges within our own organization, the ANC. We want to draw inspiration from the two leaders that paved the way because we strongly believe that it is through strong character that we can change things around. And I must also indicate, comrades, that character has no gender. Character is character, regardless of whether you are a female or a male. That is why I want us to talk about the character of the two leaders. Comrades, our province, Mpumala, it's still riddled with factionalism.
That is a challenge that we must deal with. That is a challenge that we must respond to during this current epoch. Gatekeeping, comrades, is still very rife. Gatekeeping is one of the critical elements that kills the organization. There are people on daily basis who want to ensure that they get rid of the names of comrades in the registers. That in essence says they don't want these comrades to participate in the life of their own organization. The organization is still faced with slave politics. Slave politics, comrades, comrades wake up in the morning and make a determination to tell you who must lead you, when and how. And we want to say this should be a thing of the past. We have the determination, comrades, and the commitment drawing from the strength, the inspiration, the commitment our leaders had with the understanding that they had the best interest of the organization at heart. The question remains, what would Mandela or Masisul say when they see these challenges? We must be reminded, comrades, that Nelson responded to the questions which were asked during his time. And it's upon us, as this generation, to ensure that we respond to the questions that are asked during our time. The questions still remain. What do we want to do with factionalism? We want to say we have the determination, comrades, to ensure that when you join the ANC, after having taken the oath in the, the, oath in the Constitution, you go through political education to teach you what the ANC is all about. Currently, I must indicate with sadness that there are those within the ANC today who are privatizing political education to ensure that you remain in darkness so that you don't understand your rights, so that you don't understand your own organization. And I must indicate that taking the organization to the future, when we change or when we change the current situation, we are going to ensure that political education becomes our priority. <laughs> going to the future, comrades, we are going to ensure that slate politics becomes a thing of the past. Because slate politics deprives the movement of good quality comrades that could act as agents of change within the organization. It's not a strange phenomenon that today we are led by dwarfs. And once you want to change those dwarfs into giants, it doesn't happen. Gufuna ubuti nikone ubuketa abaholi abafunwa yini. 
Nina Ketelo Abahu. Sitige Namu Shalap. Sifuna Uguti the culture aim be and assist the movement. Silo and I. Solo and I, Umanga Besbambi say, Neganian. Lazy is into Ubabu Mandela, no Mamus Sulu, Velati Bazolo and Azo. Therefore, not to Funas is Bopelelo with Silo and Azo. To keep the movement united. Because unity is the basis upon which the ANC was formed. And to keep and maintain that unity, we have to do things right, comrades. We must understand that a house divided against itself cannot stand. We cannot talk about unity in certain quarters and not cascade the same to the structures of the movement, the branches, which are the nucleus of the movement. We should not succumb to the temptation of believing that those who preach unity are honest. Some are hypocrites, comrades. They pronounce unity with their mouths and deny it with their actions. And we are saying, this cannot go on unchallenged. That's why even the Bible confirms this. When you look at Proverbs chapter 22, it says, do not remove the ancient boundary stone which was put by your ancestors. Because during difficult times, when you reach the crossroad, you have to refer, you have to look at that ancient boundary stone to give you direction. It's not a mistake that today gathered here, we talk about Nelson Mandela and Albertina Sisul, because we have reached the crossroad. They remain the ancient boundary stone that will allow us to face challenges, no matter of how big they are, and deal with those challenges and ensure that we infuse new life in the life of the African National Congress. Therefore, I want to say in Itigini, we must understand the priority and the power of the process of leadership and character. Character is the foundation key of 21st century leadership, comrades. We will not survive the next 10 years if we continue the way we are going globally, not only in South Africa. The defects of character are so deep that there is no way our organization is going to survive if we don't address this issue. This will assist you to make a wise choice as you move towards your PGC on the 15th of September 2018. That you need leaders with character. We need leaders with honorable character. We need leaders that will put the interest of the people at the center. We need our leaders to be selfless, like the two, Umam Susulu, Nobabu Mandela. Therefore, I want to say to you this afternoon, 
after having studied the character of Mamsulu and Nelson Mandela, I have concluded from my personal observation that character matters. Because in the end, all you have to protect you is your character. Right. <laughs> Mamsulu no Babu Mandela understood that leadership was not about your personality. It's not about you. Your leadership is not about your skills, comrades. Leadership is not about your charisma. Leadership is not about money and power. But leadership is about serving your gift, your talent to the world. That's why Nelson Mandela understood that leadership is the capacity to influence others through inspiration generated by passion, motivated by vision, produced by conviction and ignited by a purpose. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nelson Mandela and Mamsi Sulu understood their purpose in life. And that purpose was birthed from a conviction, a strong feeling that cannot be compromised. That conviction came from a vision, a better society, a better world. And that vision came from a passion, the love for people. And that passion inspired the entire world. That's why the entire world today celebrates Mandela's Day. And if you inspire people, you can then influence people. And if you can influence people, then people can follow you. Those that you call leaders today, they lack those elements that I've alluded to. That's why when they come to you, they manipulate you. This is Okasha Gamaspar. Those people are trying to be leaders. But when you put all the elements of leadership, they don't make the great. When a person tries to be a leader or pursues to be a leader, you must know that that is a, gen a dangerous person. Because leadership is not measured by the number of people who follow you but it is measured by the number of people that you serve with your talent. That is why, that is why we talk about servant leadership. 
you become a servant of the people. Where did we learn that? We learned that from Nelson Mandela and Mamus Albertina Susul, who were so selfless. When I read about Mandela's leadership, I'm reminded of two statements, one by Abraham Lincoln. And I want you to understand me very well, Congress. Here is a man with a strong conviction about slavery. He woke up one morning and declared slavery a crime against humanity. He said, today, in the United States of America, I'm abolishing slavery. Huh? Those that participated in his cabinet, what we are going away. We are going to kill you. Remember, he had the determination and the courage to set these people free. Why did they say that? It's because members of his cabinet owned slaves. Emanunga, ale cabinet yak. Na obega kashe But no, we can't allow that. We are going to kill you. Bambulalu Abraham Lincoln. They said he was crazy and later killed him. He went against his own political party. Show me a politician who would do it today. We are saying But we want to say today trust us as a Sabi. What I want to say and bring to your attention is that Abraham Lincoln said the following words, I quote, I have said nothing but what I'm willing to live by and if it's the pleasure of the almighty God to die by. He showed commitment. No, 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 Sang is Nigele. Ugut whether we have tanda no more tandi. Ni is Nigele Uguting Felevo. Here's another one almost a hundred years later. It is an ideal for which I hope to live for and achieve. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I'm prepared to die. The same, the same spirit, the same spirit. Uti sing is misele uguti logu enkole lwagugo nukfele. Anege skone ugu ishinja impumala anege skone ge ugu tila. Nama factions empumala ma uman abesu neko prepared to win fellal and changan. An area is deal with slave politics if we are not prepared to die for this organization. We are not going to deal effectively with gatekeeping if we are not prepared to die for this ANC of ours. We are born again. Taking it from what Mandela and Abraham Lincoln said, I am saying, as I declared and the declaration of these other comrades, that we are approaching the PGC of the ANC. And if you elect this leadership, myself, Comrade Tesarel, as my deputy, we are at dead, we are as good as dead when it comes to these matters. We are prepared and we've always been prepared
to change the political landscape of Mpumala. Because our convictions are bigger than any political platform or anything that can make us compromise. Remember, comrades, you will not be remembered on what you compromised on. You will always be remembered on what you stood for. I guarantee you, if you compromise, you will be forgotten. Because you always place yourself at the center. It's about you. So you've got a choice today whether you want to be remembered or forgotten. That says leadership is not about finding something to live for, comrades. It's about finding something to die for. Remember, as I always say, don't take what I say for granted. Jesus Christ started preaching at 30 years. He died at 33. He had only three years to change the world, and he changed it. When I want three terms of five years each. Because it's about you. He died for our sins because it was not about him. So a three-year term can change the world. A mileage between September 2018 and our next conference in, in, in May 2019 can change the ANC. When you find a cause that is worthy of self-sacrifice, you become the beginning of a leader, Comis. True leadership is a personal commitment to sacrifice yourself for a public cause, for the people to benefit. Most of the people including some of us, we are so useless in our generation that we need a tombstone to remind the world that we once existed. We are so useless in our generation that we need a every day. He did not need a tombstone because he has actually etched his name in the hearts and minds of people. Because of his willingness to sacrifice or to die for a cause that is noble enough to benefit mankind. Your life must be bigger than your cemetery resting place. Pilang and Leila. It doesn't matter no manga bang wabagup. Umandela no masi soul, usibang wabe, as in wonder in zetu, na says in please you and zetu, bashala bakona every day. That's why we celebrate in Pilozabo because of the strong character. Abbas Kumbi said, Yon. And as you get me now, I will go to Yini Le Esienzayo. And as Shinja is in Pilozaban to Mobana, no man has a bus niggers, a budget. And a Kuala Lange, and a Lugashi look at 
saying amane dliwe magundwane kunokuthi nikezwe abantu in terms of the basic provision of services lobo kuzowenzeka kuphela when you find your gift your gift your talent and serve your gift to the world because the the world needs your gift why we are slamming or condemning slave politics is that it denies the world isenza ukuthi singatholi lobo kuhle ubo uzofa usinikeze kona as a leader our challenge or our problem is that we are so protective of our personal protection all the time and all the way is about us sifuna ukusho ke ukuthi kule mpilo uma msulu nokwabu Mandela there is no distinction between your personal life and public life if uthu we leader uthu uma ngabe umholi akuna mehluko phakathi kwempilo yakho nempilo oyiphile emphakathi ziyafana lezinto uva umuntu asina ya manjela this thing is personal what is personal about you because you are a public representative eh asisho ukuthi awunawo malungelo but in leadership there is no distinction between your personal life and your public life what you do privately is everybody's business ungazivalela la pendleni ushaye umkhakha ucaba ngokuthi unelungelo because your wife is your personal property you are making a mistake it's our business can't abuse women can't noma ngabe umlobole nge million can't do that the minute you spend my tax money your private life becomes my business that is what you must understand as a leader and that is what we learned from umasizulu noba kumandela Comrades Ukushinja simo sokuphila kwabantu base South Africa kuyabiza You cannot change the world and have a normal life Umandela bayanga la lekhaya uma usisulu ba attend ama meetings babalekela ama police that was not normal Bebona nje ngiqakwa abanye ubaba la masihlukana emhlangano yena athi nono ngicela ukuthi ngiphume masinyane la emhlangano yena because ngifuna ukuyobukela in the bold and the beautiful sengiyabuka ngize asubuke the bold and the beautiful so mandela had passion he had love for people that's why he was not a normal man umasisulu noba kumandela you that leadership was not a right people don't have to follow you to be followed is not a path right people follow you because they trust you manje ke it's important ukuthi abanye bethu sibakhumbuze ukuthi le leadership responsibility esibanikeze yona is not a bad right akusilungelo lakho lokuzalwa ukuthi usilide it's just that at a particular point sibonile ukuthi uthembekile sakunikeza irresponsibility ukuthi usilide but it's not a right it's not a bad right akusilungelo lakho lekudalwa people follow you because they trust you 
Conway is in the economy of human influence, trust is the currency. Nelson Mandela and Masisulu lived with the trust of the people on their heads. South Africans trusted these people. And trust is a product of character, comrades. The question that you should ask yourself today, what would you give in exchange of what you could become? With what is ahead of you, you have 20 years of greatness ahead of you that could be cancelled in 10 minutes by a bad decision in the present. We are born to live in the present. We are born to live in Umangabe utaiga uzi ni amazu musu taiga uzi leo lalika alofu. Umangabe be lisingumo as tata esa menza uguti ange ene gule nkinga ange ena guyo. Umangabe be gazu uguti simtanda gangaga ngabaga enza anga lento. Because wangli maza na amu. That is character. So i character yako as a leader. Si pege yona because si mugewe na si funda guwe. Uma ngabe kunezinto ezincone sizazi empilweni sizifunda kuwe. Uma ngabe uzosilimaza ke nge character yakho soba silimele soba silahlekela. So kudingakele ke comrades ukuthi sihlale sinale character yokuthi abantu basithembe. Uyabona basithanda. Umuntu akamana thanda umuntu. Thanda umuntu othembekile. Karekta yako isho kukulu ngawe. Sengi ya ngasekutineni. Remember, I want to emphasize that. Remember, comrades, that the weight of your words is in your character, not your volume. Mfunu kubege isa kenga bafundis. Nalaba bati, nalabo mama laba, laba sontange ngalusin. Ya, laba zalwan. Utolu mfundis e shumayela. Aza pume na mati. Hayo, 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 hayo. No, we don't want that. Sawuzwalumsi <laughs> So that you feel you would know who Sundays and go see him. Going to a change. And you say, I was going to a change. No, you could not just say, my name. That's correct. The weight of your words is in your character, not the money that you have. I karekta yako injani, isi milo sako sinjangwe. Manjege, ubabura maposa, umungamelu we ezwe, umungamelu we ANC. Ukulunga nge nyu ton. Kule nyu ton, ukulunga nga mapilas au fo. Udi number one, we must strive to clean governments and intensify the fight against corruption. Ile zinto benkuluma ngazo, uguti zienze gala, kama spa. Manjege, 
Asis bopelele nige ngamunye ngamunye. Ekutel. Sizi tume. Ugi olungi salesini. Si watline la bumaspala vetu. Si watline. Si wanagegele ngoba. Masevati. We'll only be able to do that if we elect people with character. Now, Muge, Utkasha CFO, Nimbona Onge Malanga, Lomundu Talatagi. Last month, you figure, but the furniture shop, but Agapatad. But that's a young finish. Ayak Mara M17 Utala Petsis Meta Mara Lega Maspala Nam Kasha Nisagan Bugeli Mad Ranzi Ninja Nini Netting over Nibugo was to make become in Chelino's leadership is not about you no know, qualifications. That's why when I studied the character of Nelson, I'm quickly reminded of what Alexandra the Great once said. I quote, an army of sheep led by one lion will always defeat an army of lions if they are led by a sheep. Nelson Mandela taught the world that we don't need more politicians in leadership, but we need more leadership in politicians. Because politicians are more concerned with the next elections and leaders are concerned with the next generation. Which takes us to the second pillar of the new dawn. Fixing the broken economy. Na pandle wogutu sibe no mnoto okulayo. Le lizwe lela ngege nkono ugutila nge poverty. Unemployment and inequality. That's why Ubabu Mungameli Utu we must fix the broken economy. Lom Lom not Pugile comrades. We must fix it so that it can generate jobs. Jobs that will allow us to be employed and deal with poverty. Let me say when there's a when the ogu to score no pilaga she is win. Sibe na matuba alinga na regardless of whether you are white or black. Omanda la umfundi si legemi. Ogu to people don't follow leaders. They follow vision. Where there is no vision, people perish. The Bible does not say where there is no leader. It says where there is no vision, people perish. Because that leader does not have what? Vision. So the greatest gift you can give to your generation is the gift of vision. We are going to let's see more speaking in our Sobabu Kamed. Basali Basem Kong. Let's see more in speaking in our so no matter sing Gaganani, no matter sibing Gaganani. Sitina Ubutu Ungas begging a measure, Lawa is what's a bin desire, Lawa would now win and Nangmina. 
sipeke ngamehlo enhliziyo eshoyo ukuthi ikusasa lizoba ngcono kuna namuhle ungaphili kule simo lesi esiqindezelayo kepha phila in the future if you live in the future you will not feel pain in the present uyabona mina sengibonile khana noma ngabe ungenzana akukho ongakwenza ukungangizisa ubuhlungu because i know that is a better tomorrow that is coming akukho ukungethuka ongaku ongangithuka kona ukungangizisa ubuhlungu ngoba angisabuza ubuhlungu lo ngibuzile ubuhlungu bungenze ukuthi kungasabuza ubuhlungu Number two, mina sasa bi mudo, agu kumundo angula la sen file file mus, sen file mus, so angula la ngangagi, eh? Because when it comes to these things that we must do, to strive for clean governance and fight corruption, to fix the broken economy. For the next generation, I'm prepared to die for these things. Oba ura maposa ge ukuluma ge ne pila ya start, i education and training. I lapos kuluma kona ngama kon, uguti abantu anabed, gufuna uguti siba train ne guma kon olao. As is, as is our seven is to fix this broken economy. Sipu megulengo ndo kuti abantu anabe tu manga beba iskolo nsi ba prepare la uti ba yoba employed. Tina safunde luka shati. Manga buhamba uya wamanya mazo you will agree with me uguti na ba kete abantu aniskolo ba fula ma business. Bavula ma business. Manje ke le skill esifuna. Ile skill les esizowenza ukuthi nathi sibe osoma business aba right. Hingako ke kule phila yes4 uthi thuma mi which is a commitment that everybody must have in order to fix all the problems and the challenges that the country is facing. So we have no doubt, comrades, in our minds and hearts that this is the man that we must support because he's the man who has a vision. It's a man who promises us a better future as compared to what we are experiencing. And we cannot at any point entertain those that want to take over from him despite knowing them that in the past they could not even assist the organization. What they were good at was to create factions, create disunity in the ANC. And all those things that go with those things that are not right. Sang vala ge ma comrades. Asba kons o mamsulu no babu mandela. Abaye na unkulunkul betu. Mshambe gugu culture yetu. Aba anyaba kolele madlozi. Nungo waba nelunge lelo kolele madlozi. Ba madlozi. Kepagiti. Sungu kongolos. Kule inkinga esi pegene na azo. Kule nshangano yetu. Nala ezwe niletu. Ngoba manji. 
the question that all of us must respond to is the question on expropriation of land without compensation. Comrades, you will not be able to deal effectively with poverty, unemployment, and inequality if you don't have land. Because as well, Ilapo kukona kona gongo ogu tingayo uguze upile. Umu nganayo ilend ufana nisikil. Because you will be working on the land that belongs to someone as a servant. And the Freedom Charter says the land shall be worked among those who work it. So we are funding again, my comrades. Uguti mbilo yala ba hola ba bi through the demonstration of their character, which is the moral force of leadership. Yi ne funa guti si funde uguze si pegane na lezinkinga as nazo kule organization in the country as well. Ntanda ukata gele tuba. Mbonge uguti sifigile la sazo kuluma ngala makawa mabi. Asfunde enige eguteni through their conduct, through their character. Yini esina yenza uguti impilo zetu zibe ngono, zitutuge, zibe nilukusasa. Elise, then the next generation nayo ikon upila impilo endle. Because if we don't do that, I promise you, the next generation will call us a generation of thieves. Agukwe siwenzile in state si chonche lugu begu call. That's why your grandchild or your child will ask you. Uvuting and Katu Kuruya the question expropriation of land without compensation. What in when? Man, I will fail to answer this alone. You know what you are going to do. What you are going to do. So, you want to swing Telelan and Tala. Answer the question. See, I propose I'm putting a scatty sack of Wenzan. Uma quat in you. Don't become angry. Answer the question. Nenkati niti lentana ano entla gangaga i African National Congress baba yiyo ya skulula skila zwa mapu. Nenzani nenkati abanya bantu bafoma makemba makenja ana gule ntlanga. Ngobo kuluma jalo ngoba nale male ngufundi sengayo. Ipuma kona lapu. Oh, okay. Uzo tula lo mtu ala pati ul no go to your generational failure. A generation of thieves. That stole from the next generation. Nzambe nam tanje inkosi be funa guti sizo kulumisa na so that must pumala. Skone uguti si be each generation engo ono guna loge si igon. Bonga kulo se slalwen. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 where are you? So, so.